and thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. Hope you're enjoying your Friday afternoon. This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr. Doris Burke will be reporting from the sideline. And now we take a brief check at the matchups. Our starting five for both teams. First for the Spurs. Parker and Danny Green are your one and your two. And in the middle, out of Brazil, taken with the 28th pick back in 2008, the 6'11 pivot man, Tiago Splitter. Then there's Kawhi Leonard, and it's Duncan in at the four. And for the Heat, Chalmers and D. Wade are the guards. And playing at the five, the all-way versatile 6'11 star big man, able to score inside and out, Chris Bosh. And it's LeBron James, and it's Haslam in at the power forward position. Well, I tell you, that's outstanding determination to track that rebound down and fight his way to the bucket for the throwdown. Clark, that is the effort they're going to need for the rest of this game. And not just on the offensive glass, Kevin, but all over the floor. And Chalmers kicks to Hazel. Duncan with the block. Miami on defense. And Parker, here we go. Hunter on the wing. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. Leonard's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And what an amazing run it was for the Spurs last year in the postseason. They swept the Lakers, they survived Golden State, and then dismantled Memphis on their way to the NBA Finals. And then, of course, they were seconds away from another championship there. And here is Green after Dwayne Wade hitting the three. And Parker backs down. He feeds it to split it. And it's out of bounds. Here. Well, getting back to the Spurs, they look better and better as they went deeper into the playoffs. Clark, Heat were thought to be the heavy favorites at the start of the NBA postseason. But when they met in the finals, uh, thoughts on who would win, I think, were pretty much split. Yeah, and eventually, you know, this was one heck of a series because the Spurs not only had experience and talent, but they had multiple options offensively and did such a terrific job sharing the ball. They took the Miami Heat to the limit, but at the end of the day, it came down to LeBron James and Dwayne Wade rising to the challenge. Now, here's Haslam. Gets it to go. 122 left in the first quarter of the game. Parker against Chalmers. Parker kicks to Green. Parker passes to Green. And again, it's San Antonio with a three. Yeah, and he's a bomber. I mean, that's what I love about him. He's as good a three-point shooter as you'll see. And, uh, of course, has the green light to let it fly anytime he wants. And Steve, just like you, when you shot, you had a favorite spot on the floor when you played. This favorite spot seems to be that three from the corner. Yeah. Here is Parker. Following the basket by LeBron James. Parker dishes to Leonard. Tipped away. Stolen by Chalmers. Drops in the breakaway layup. You know, he didn't need to make the layup complicated. I mean, it's not a trick shot contest. But he decided to go for a little extra flavor on that one. Here is Splitter. Pass to Green. From past the arc. And James pulls it down. The Heat with the lead. Great offensive performance they're putting on. You see the benefit of knocking down baskets consecutively because it leads to the confidence growing and growing, doesn't it, Steve? It sure does. And now it's to the point where they just feel unstoppable. The Heat shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. And you look at the numbers from a year ago, guys. This is a club that hit about 75% of its free throws. The first free throw is good. So San Antonio going with an almost entirely new group here. No good on the second free throw. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. Now Bellinelli. Ginobili kicks to Diaw. Passes it to Parker. A floater. And there's the call by the official. They'll the basket here following the goaltending call. 
He thought he had that one clean, but the ref saw it differently. They'll count the basket. The fans don't like that call one bit. Well, the officials got an earful as a result. It's all tied in Miami. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way. Welcome back, folks. Thank you for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports as we get set to get going once again. Hey, during the break, players getting a chance to refuel and hydrate with some Gatorade as there is more basketball in store. And before we move on, what do you guys think about what we've seen so far from the Heat? I was impressed with their transition game, guys. They really got out and ran the lanes. Yeah, they did. I mean, no better with easy buckets than through fast breaks. You know, when something works for you, you stay with it. The Heat saw after the 2012 Finals that small ball was very effective for them. You can see why they chose to do that, given how hard it is to find a power forward that can match up with LeBron. Makes good sense. And a chance here to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Doris Burke. Hi, Doris. As you know, gentlemen, Greg Popovich is one of the foremost practitioners of the intentional fouling that sends four free throw shooters to the line. Not exactly a fan favorite, and Pop says, quote, I think it's ugly. I think it's awful. But it's legal. It's there. If somebody doesn't want to get hacked, they should shoot free throws better. Guys, he's all about winning. Whether it's pretty or ugly, he doesn't care. They wear you down, Doris. Thank you so much. He hits one and misses one each at the line. And mismatches really are what make an NBA offense go at times. Not only can Miami overpower you, Steve, you know, with their sheer talent at times, but if you're trying to guard a perimeter play with a big, well, you're going to be in trouble. Well, some people still see small ball as a gimmick, but, you know, for Miami, it's different because you've got LeBron James playing the, the power forward. So it's not really small ball. He, he can rebound, he can defend, he can do everything. And so the Heat become a nightmare to guard at the other end. And you, you can rarely take advantage of them offensively. San Antonio again missing. Now LeBron, Cole. Yes, and it's LeBron picking up the assist. Cole's got his first two points. That is a terrific effort on the shot. He's giving up a lot of size, but still finds a way to score. I don't think that affected him in the least, though, Steve. I mean, he made it look like he was the bigger guy. You know, you survey other point guards in the league and ask them who their toughest assignment is, and a lot of them will tell you it's Tony Parker. I mean, his ability to weave in and out at the speed he does just drives would-be defenders mad over the course of four quarters. Parker is always in attack mode. Free throw good by Parker. And, Clark, you mentioned the penetration ability of Tony Parker. He really has become the focal point of the Spurs' drive and, and kick offense, Steve. So fun to watch. Yeah, you talk about his speed and the quickness, uh, but it's really all about the overall skill level, the ability to finish it in the lane, uh, the, the knockdown jump shooting, uh, the free throw shooting also improved. But it's incredible how well-rounded Parker has become. Is he the fastest point guard, you think, in the NBA? I would say yes. Hmm. Well, the number one priority for a defense uh, when you face this guy is to keep him getting anywhere from the basket because he's just so strong as a finisher. You know, one of his other qualities, Steve, is how quickly he starts to break. I mean, he doesn't need numbers either. He can be a coast-to-coast, -coast, rack to rack guy all by himself. Ginobili. The feather touch on the finger roll. Beautiful. Oh, man, he goes old school on us with the finger roll. But he'd have gone two or four shooting the ball here in the second. Here's Cole, covered by Parker. And it's Cole missing. And they force the miss with that good defensive rotation. They're playing well together as a unit. Only three teams in the entire Eastern Conference had a better than 500 record against the West. And no surprise, the Heat were one of those three. And they were dominant against Western Conference opponents all year long. And that drops, so they now lead by one. Mark, adding on to what you were saying about the Heat versus the West, they ended up 25-5, and five, which is incredible, Steve, given how many tough teams that are in the Western Conference. That's amazing, Kevin. They had a better record against the West than they did against the East in terms of their winning percentage. So I, I think that speaks to just how motivated Miami was when they went out on the road to the West in particular uh, to really show everybody how good they were. And that's on a bottom. San Antonio will retain possession. Tim Duncan, he's checked in for Matt Bonner. 
Here's Parker. He's got six. Six on the shot clock. Ginobili outside. I like the call. I thought the defense was moving there. Yeah, I think he slid underneath. Good blocking call that trip. The Spurs shoot their fifth and six free throws of the game. First one falls for him. Chris Anderson has checked in for Shane Batty. Both free throws good from Ginobili. And we're now a little over two and a half minutes into the second quarter. LeBron passes to Bosch. Kicks to Cole. Cole off the pick from James. Puts up the baby hook. They get a hand on it. Allen for three. And it would have counted had it fallen, but it's offline. And we're through two here and a good one. Spurs lead by one. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena. Now, presented by Sprint. Welcome to the Halftime Report with a close to Sprint. Halftime Report, presented by Sprint. A magnificent view of glowing high rises in downtown Miami as we welcome you back. And as you might expect for the team with the second best record in the West, the Spurs dominated the East last season, played each team twice for a total of 30 games, and went 25 and 5 in that stretch. Miami trailing. LeBron outside. The feed to Chalmers. Back to LeBron. Has them a screen on Leonard. It's LeBron with the drive. And good on the basket. Book it. LeBron's got the first basket of the second half. That one for the Heat. And Clark, back to what you said about the Spurs and the East. It was far and away the best record against the conference, Steve, for a team in the West. Yeah, the second best record was Memphis with 22 wins. So kind of scary to think that they rested their big stars a few times against teams in the East, and they were still able to put up that kind of a record. Boy, we don't see that too often. No defender on him, and he just planks the open jumper. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. And defensively, and the wind has just been knocked out of their sails. Need to get more bodies committed down low. From the sideline, let's catch up with Doris Burke. Kevin, thank you. There was a lot of thought about how the Heat could improve after they lost to the Mavs in the 2011 NBA Finals. Many called for a veteran point guard, but the team felt comfortable with who they had. Coach Eric Spolster said, we felt we had one of the younger point guard tandems in the league that we can build on and offer us championship minutes right now. They grew into that role and were a big part of their back-to-back -back titles. Bolster says they earned it with their hard work, and he couldn't be happier, guys. Thanks a lot, Doris. And the shot is good. Well, you can't leave him alone, especially from long range. And Miami calls their first time out of the game. Tony Parker had a phenomenal 2011-2012 campaign, but as is the case with Greg Popovich, he challenged Parker to improve upon that for last season. Popovich told him good players can be great for a little bit, but great players are always great. And that really resonated with Parker. And San Antonio has possession. Green dishes to Parker. Parker off the pick from Slip. Parker kicks to Leonard. Let's it go from deep. The Spurs rebound. They kick it out to Green. Parker outside. Nice ball from the by San Antonio. Duncan, the pass to Parker. Parker left side. Goes back up. And Duncan gets it to go in. Duncan's got his first points in this one. Think about how great Parker has been. We forgot his career almost came to an end in the summer of 2012. This is a, uh, a very interesting part of his career. That's right. He was uh, an innocent bystander at a club in New York when a melee erupted and bottles were thrown. He got a, a shard of glass that penetrated almost through his left eye. Very easily could have lost his vision and lost his career. Chalmers' shot is no good. They've been strong on the boards. There's no disputing that. That's what the box score says. Still anybody's game, though. Green dishes to Leonard. He kicks to Parker. Up 
offensive rebound. The Heat have gone two of three from the field to start the second half. Haslam, that's good. Haslam's got five points so far. Some defensive breakdowns are starting to show up now. Their last four buckets allowed have come from very close range. And giving up these easy chances is going to do wonders for their confidence. Duncan kicks to Green. Parker outside. A fadeaway. No good on that last second attempt here. It's all tied in Miami. And we'll have the start of a fourth quarter for you as soon as... And thanks for joining us again as the fourth quarter of play is set to get rolling. It's been a close battle to this point. The Spurs shooting from the field, 44%, not bad. And Bellinelli kicks to Splitter. He dishes it to Genova. Now the pass to Bellinelli. Back to Ginobili. Kicks it out to Leonard. Just five to shoot. Off target with his three. A clear look at the hoop. He doesn't miss many of those. Wade drives in. Leonard with the steal. Here's Bellinelli. Covered by LeBron. And Bellinelli kicks to Ginova. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Now you can see why the defense is willing to let him take that shot. That's really not his range. Here's Allen. And it's blocked by Dia. And he recovers it. They now take the lead. Allen's got the fourth quarter going with the first basket of the period here for the Heat. Ginova kicks to Bellinelli. Back to Ginobili. The dish to Diaw. Plenty of space. No good. Now the Heat took it the other way. The drive by Allen. The shot's off. Some solid defense there from Leonard. San Antonio trailing here. Feeds it to Diaw. Wide open. Chris Bosch with the rebound. And he's wide open like that. He'll rarely miss those. Wade passes to Allen. Too long in the paint, and he's hit with a three-second violation. And look at how the hustle game has been going for the Heat. Well, it's been an outstanding game for them in the open court. Their fast break points really stand out. And the other thing they're doing, Clark, is scoring a lot of points off turnovers, forcing mistakes and catching them. And so he hits the technical free throw. A free point there on the technical, and one they needed in this kind of a close game. Tim Duncan, he's checked in for San Antonio. Parker comes in for Marco Bellinelli. LeBron, this is Durant. Bosch hits the pick for Allen. Pass to Chalmers. And he's out of bounds. The Heat able to retain possession here. Six to shoot. LeBron against Leonard. And it's LeBron missing. Spurs trail by three. Ginobili attacking Carter. From 17 feet out. Nails it. And that shot brings them to within just one. Watch out now. Duncan is caught by it. Jones in the post. Duncan is there. Allen for three. Knocks down the trifecta. Oh, what a clutch shot. That could be the difference maker. Big, big moment in this game. Here's Parker. Cut! And he has brought them to within two points. Man, where's the defense? I mean, this has been pathetic at both ends. Yeah, it has been pathetic defensively, but it's been exciting from an offensive standpoint. But if you like defense, then neither one of these teams deserves a win. And they've got to score quickly. We have no time to waste at all. Mix it out to Ginobili. Oh, good with the triple. He'd have gone three of six in the field so far in the fourth quarter. Allen. And he throws it down hard with one hand. They are not letting up, guys. They just keep coming out. And I'd say that lead is too big to overcome at this point. Parker kicks to Genova. The three. Offensive rebound, Spurs. 
Fires from deep. Buries it from outside. And so the big win by Miami in a tight game. It was tight, but the Nets should come up with the win. Now, nobody wants to lose a close game, but it's much better to win those tight games. Thanks for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. For Clark Kellogg, Steve Kerr, and Doris, this is Kevin Harlan. We'll see you next time. And now, our Jordan player of the game, LeBron James.